this lake and the surrounding area of the land, it meant a lot to our Dene people. At Bistro Lake, we've got a really unique opportunity um, to have some type of indigenous protected and conserved area here. Once you find the connection there, you'll be able to understand the stories more. And maybe you'll even see a dream or something about what it was like back then, or what it can be like. We can retrieve some of the stories from, from uh, underneath the ground, and whatever we find that's it's like sacred or a treasure from back then, you know, all these things can help us regain our strength and to teach us something new. She again has all the notching. It's like a scraper. This is like you swear on it to these little tiny small chipping. So most likely this is it's a piece of a tool. People were living here for thousands of thousands of years. And you know, we are finding sites that are, you know, sometimes older than pyramids in Egypt. So we are finding really enormous sites. Like this one is a very good example. It goes for about 500 meters along this, this edge of the lake. Almost every test that we are digging here, it's, it's positive. We are finding either bone or the, like the small, small chips of lakes. Long time ago, my dad used to trap over here. Happy just, just to be at a site where my dad used to be. Even this hand cut with axe, it's just like a memory. And as we move into the sub-regional planning process, we really want to partner with the community and really want to understand the interests of the community members. And I think for me, that's very much why I'm here this week up here at Bistu Lake, is to sit down with the elders and to sit down with community leadership and, and with their technicians and, and with indigenous scientists and really understand, you know, where we can find balance. We've got caribou wildlife camera traps out. The location was specified by a Deneda member. We have the chance to stop this herd from continuing on this decline and actually give them the opportunity to grow in, the, in that population rather than just trying to keep them from the brink of extinction. All Albertans and Canadians can, can benefit from a healthy landscape in this corner of the province. The idea of an IPCA at Bistro Lake is not something new. The Deneva have always considered Bistro Lake to be an area for protection. And we want to bring everyone together in a place that's still intact, still pristine like Bistro Lake. And we want to be able to work together and do this together through a guardian program or having our people on the land, having our community members revitalize this place. It's a symbiotic relationship. Once we heal ourselves, the land will heal and the water will heal. But I want to see things regain, restore, and uh, retrieve our, our land the way that our land treated us back then.